Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Blair. Welcome to my beauty space. So today I am serving you not one but two hauls. I went to my local Target and Rite Aid and I bought some new goodies. So I really want to show you guys what I got. So if you are interested, please just keep watching. All right, let's start with Target. So the first item I got is a mask right here. So this is a new mask from Neutrogena and this one is a Radiance Boost Brightening Mask and it is a 100% hydrogel mask. So I personally love a hydrogel mask because for me, A, I think it has more of a cooling sensation compared to like the regular cotton sheet mask and B, I think it caps the moisture better because sometimes I will put on the mask and I leave it on a little bit longer than it instructed to be and I feel like with a cotton mask, sometimes it will completely dry up and I really don't like that feeling, especially in the summer. So I want like a more like moisture mask so that it can lock in the hydration. So when I saw this one, I'm like, hell yeah, let me try it. So this one has a vitamin B3 and it will brighten the skin, will boost skin radiance and a smooth skin texture. So it sounds really amazing, especially in the summertime, you know, you are really like dehydrated. So sometimes I feel like if my skin is dehydrated, I will tend to become dull like in my skin. Like I just felt like my skin lose that radiant. So I really appreciate like a radiance boosting mask. And also this will help smooth the texture, which is amazing. Cause you know, in the summertime, like I get like oily and then sometimes I will have pores or I will have like pimples. So really just have kind of uneven skin tone or skin like, you know, texture. So I really want some help with, you know, smooth my skin. So I feel like this one delivers on that as well. And this one is also a two piece, as you can see here uh, where the instruction. So that's really good because I sometimes feel like if it's one piece, everybody has a different like face size, but they don't really like brands don't really customize to each individual person's face size. So sometimes I feel like some mask doesn't really fit my skin well, but with two piece, I feel like you can really like, you know, like place it however you feel like it's the best fit. So I really appreciate that as well. And this one is also gentle on the skin. So that's really important because it's a mask. You definitely don't want that rea reaction, right? So yeah, I am really like excited to try this one. And I love this packaging. It's like a bright, like, pinkish fuchsia color so it's really good so yeah i love it and next i got i got some makeup brushes from sony kashuk because i just love sony kashuk it's one of my favorite brand and uh, here is the brushes so it looks really good this is only 20 bucks which i think is such a steel because you know usually like powder brushes tend to be really expensive like just this one alone if you buy from mac or even sigma i feel like it's at least 30 bucks you know maybe with sigma you can get 25 dollars but still that's only one brush but you get this three for 20 bucks and sony cash have really decent quality of the brush so i really trust them because i have so many brushes from sony cash especially now they're revamping the whole line so i feel like they definitely gone up a notch in terms of quality so when i saw this i'm like hell yeah and let me try it so this is a limited edition. It's a gilded brush set. So I really love this. I also never have like packagings like this. It's kind of like, I don't know, like a moody kind of a design even in the back as you can see the kind of marble kind of um, pattern. So this one is an elegant mix of old world metal and the new finishes. And this set adds a touch of shine to any brush collection. And also those densely packed face brushes work well with both cream and powder formulas and are uniquely shaped to provide precision contouring and sculpting. So you know me, like I have to always at least do a bronzer. And when I'm doing a bronzer, it's almost like a contour for me because, you know, I like to do like a contour shape of a bronzer to just make my face look a little bit more like in shape because I know that I have a round face to begin with. So I really love the fact that this one can also do in like contour. So it has an all over powder brush, which is this one. I'll definitely use this one to set my face. They also have the angled foundation brush, which is the second one. So that means that you can use this, you know, with like liquid foundation, which is really amazing. I really want to try it. 
and the third one is a curvy contour brush and this one you can use for cream and powder products so that's really good because i know that some brushes are more geared towards cream some are more geared towards powder so you couldn't really use them like multi-use so i feel like sometimes it's kind of annoying especially if you're in a rush you have to like wait about which one is for which product you know but this one is you know suitable for both i think that will be really amazing so i'm really really happy that i got this set all right moving on from sony kashuk again i got this makeup blender from sony kashuk actually i got this like a while ago like i got the same one a while ago i really love it i feel like this is a good like um under eye blending blender because you know i like to put a lot of like highlight like not highlight sorry um concealer underneath my eyes so i really need a blender and sometimes beauty blender is nice but i want a more precise blender so i feel like this one is a perfect size because it's a little bit smaller than beauty blender but you also have that pointed toe so you kind of get into the corner of your under eye and really blending out your concealer and this one is latex free so it's really good for your skin and uh, this one have three surfaces which allows flexible application and a blending of concealers highlighters contours and foundation i usually don't use this to blend out foundation but i use this one to blend out highlighters concealers and the contours i really love like how they blend out the contour because you know i just felt like with this kind of a smaller size it's really easy to do that also i love this angle size because the angle size you can also put like powders underneath you know i feel like it's a perfect size for you to put powder underneath so yeah anyway this is just a great product and i love sony kashuk so i highly recommend this blender so the next item is from sony kashuk as well this is the brush holder this is only ten dollars i really really like it and i love this kind of a pinkish mauve color and for me i usually don't like a big brush holder just because i felt like if it's too big some of the brushes will stuck in the middle and i will never get to use them because i'm never gonna see them that's why i like those smaller kind of brush holder so this one i really really love it and this is only ten dollars so like you know can never go wrong with it so yeah i got that and next i got the pacifica ultra cc cream so this is a radiant foundation and this is the packaging looks like how pretty it is i am in the shade natural slash medium so hopefully it wasn't too dark because when i try to buy it there's no tester and this is the only color left for the medium color then they also have like a light color so i was like maybe medium will be a better color so we shall see and this one has a brow spectral SPF 17, which is always good. Even though I kind of prefer like a 30, but you know, with SPF is always better than without. And this is moisture rich color correcting makeup plus skincare. So that's really good because that's like the definition of CC cream is like covering foundation, but also have a skincare component to it. So that will help your skin and also it won't just be makeup. It will be less harsh, I guess. And it is 100% vegan, cruelty free, and it is suitable for all skin type. This one is one fluid ounce. So this is $24. So I think it's a little bit pricey, but with Pacifica, you know that they are cruelty free, you know that they are vegan. So they also use all the good ingredients so that adds up to the cost of the foundation. And this one is the minerals. So it has color correcting minerals and 100% physical brow SPF with uva and a uvb protection so yeah i just really want to try it and this one has natural ingredients such as coconut kelp and ginseng so it's just a really really healthy like you know makeup brand because you know if they sold in whole foods that means that they're really like healthy so here is a close-up i really love this box and inside here is the makeup looks like i just couldn't say no so this looks so cute. It kind of reminds me of one of the Benefits primer. Don't you guys think? And then you have a pump. So that's really important. So let me see what the color looks like. Because I really want to know the color. So let's see. Ooh. So here is a color. Ooh. Okay, great. So I think this color is too dark. Or no. What do you guys think? I think it blend out actually pretty nicely. 
I feel like with this kind of color, it's always kind of hard if you never have a tester. That's also the same with like, you know, drugstore is that they don't have a tester. But I guess it's not so bad. Like it looks dark on the back of my hand, but I feel like once you blend it in, it's actually not bad at all. So let's see. I love it. I think it's good. Let me see. I love it. I feel like it could be a little bit lighter, I'd say, but in all in all, it's pretty good and has a nice moisture. So I just really love it. And it kind of have like a moussey texture, but not really. So it's really good if you have drier skin, because I feel like with moussey texture, if you have dry skin, you might have dry patches. That's my personal opinion. But this one, it kind of reminds me a little bit of a moussey texture, but not really. So let me know if you want to see it get ready with me slash first impression. I'll happily do it. So far, I guess this is like a mini first impression. It looks good. It looks a bit darker on my hand, but once you blend to my skin, I feel like it doesn't really brow down my skin color. So that's really good. And it's very easy to blend, even just use my finger. So yeah, it's really good. I love this product. It's so cute. All right, next. I have an eye elixir from Pixi. So this one is the Pixi 24K Eye Elixir. And this one has all the skin loving ingredients. They have the gold, which will stimulate the circulation. They have the collagen, which will strengthen the skin because for your under eye, you really want that. And then they also have peptide, which will plump the fine lines. So I just really intrigued. This one is like $24 as well. So it's kind of pricey for a drugstore. But I feel like with Pixie, because I think they use really good ingredients. And this, I believe, is made in Korea. Yes, this is made in Korea. So you know the Korean beauty brand, they always have really good like technology. They really have good skincare. So I really like it. And this one is, um, let's see right here now test it on animals paraben free so it's all the ethical good practices as well as good ingredients and here is the inside looks like i really love this bottle i just think it's really good pixie have a lot of bomb item and once you open it up it's a roller ball so it will roll underneath your eyes which i think is really good and uh, what else this is formulated with h defying ingredients and peptide to help smooth fine lines prevent signs of fatigue and reduce puffiness so yeah i just really really want to try it out because i feel like eyes is one area that i will always invest a lot of money because that's where you're really starting to aging so i really want to prevent that so yeah i really really intrigued by this and i really really want to try it okay the next item I got is this Neutrogena Body Mist. So this is a sunscreen, but this has a full range design. So the reason full reach design. So the reason why I bought it is because it can reach your back. I think that's really helpful. I usually have friends or families to help me like spray my back, but sometimes if I just wanna like go quickly by the pool, like if I'm just you know have some time. I would love something that I can just help myself, you know, so that when you do your back, you can just do like this. I think it's very convenient, like even the design right here. That's really nice. And also this one is weightless and it has a clean feel. And now I haven't tried it yet. So we shall see how this really like performs because, you know, I haven't tried it yet. But I know that Lushojina is a good brand with SPF. 100 you have water resistant for 80 minutes which is a long time so i think it should be enough time by the pool i probably i rarely spend over like an hour by the pool so i really want to just you know i think this is enough so yeah i just really like it i would love to try this one all right moving on the next two items that i got are from maybelline so those are their new products so the first item is this maybelline lipstick and this is in the shade Spicy Mouth. I think they revamped their whole packaging. So it's like a better packaging in my opinion because I don't really like their old packaging. So this is what it looks like. And here is the inside. So I got the shade number 65 Spicy Mouth. So it's kind of like a shine eclair kind of a texture. So let me just swatch it for you guys. 
Can you see that? That's like the color. So it's not really like a matte. Uh, finish is definitely more like shine with hydration. So I personally love this kind because I feel like in the summer I like a little bit of shine. I feel like I'm kind of over the liquid look because it's always kind of dry or semi-matte. So I kind of want to shine. So I really, really like this one. Doesn't really have a scent to it, which, you know, is always good, especially for people who are sensitive to scents. So I love this packaging. I also think the whole, like, packaging is really good. I like this better than, like, the bigger tube. So, yeah, this is what I got. Alright, so the next item I got is a new primer by Maybelline. So this is the Master Primer by Face Studio, and it is a blur and a defined primer, and also has SPF 30. So this is what it looks like. I really love Maybelline's primer. I always think they have great primer. I actually really enjoy this hydrating primer by Maybelline. And this one is really lightweight and it does not clog my pores. And also this one really hydrates my skin. So I use this quite a lot underneath my makeup. That's why when I saw this one, I'm like, yes, I really want to try this one. And also in the back, it says that this will visibly blur skin tone and imperfections will smooth your skin and it is lightweight non-greasy formula and it does not clog pores so this is exactly what i want because i do have some skin issues especially around my t-zone because i have pores so i really want like a primer that will blur everything but also i don't want like a heavy weight formula because you know in the summer the last thing i want to do is get my pore clogged and have a huge breakout so i'm really happy that this one is lightweight non-greasy and a non-pore clogging so i am so excited to try this one and this is also very affordable so yeah i'm so happy that i found this new maybelline primer all right, so that's all the stuff I got from Target. So now let's move on to Rite Aid. So the first items I purchased are from Koki Cosmetics. So if you don't know what is Koki Cosmetics, basically it is a drugstore brand which was originally sold in Walmart. They're still sold in Walmart right now, but right now they're expanding to Rite Aid. So I just really think it's a really good brand. It have really good products at a very affordable price and it is very accessible. You can find it in Walmart, you can find it in Rite Aid now. So today I I'm going to show you guys the stuff I bought from Koki Cosmetics at my local Rite Aid. So let's get into it. So the first item I want to talk about is this powder contour palette. So here is the powder contour palette. It looks like by Koki Cosmetics. And I got this in the shade. I believe this is a light contour kit. Uh, actually, it says universal. So yeah, I think they also have a darker shade. And I personally think that this color will fit me the best. And let me show you guys the inside. So here is the inside looks like. Doesn't this kind of remind you of the Kevin D Contour Kit? Actually, I have this on hand so that I can do a comparison. So here is the Kevin D Contour Kit. As you can see, the first line is a little bit like a smaller pen. So this is by Kevin D. And then this one is Koki Cosmetics. So let's see. Did you see that? Don't you think they're almost identical? In a way right like even the colors are really identical and all the front row it's just koki cosmetics a bit like you know bigger the pen so i really want to do a comparison video just to show you guys and to see which one is better so i can do one side using the cat d the other side use the koki cosmetics but this one is way cheaper i think this one is less than 20 bucks so yeah this one is definitely more affordable but as you can see it's more like you know a lighter weight material versus this one i think it's heavier and then like more sturdier and also i really love the design of the mirror i think it's super cool and this is the og i love this one so many people rave about it i think the colors are right and i really love this yellow shade as my you know under eye highlighter so yeah i love this one so this is the first item that i got i really really want to test it out and also the other contour kit i really want to test it out is from smashbox they just had that one so i haven't got that one during my 20 percent off i don't think they're on sale they might but i just forgot about that one but i'm gonna try that one as well so the next item i got from koki cosmetics is this brush so this is the 620 brush 
here is the packaging looks like i really like the packaging i think it's such like a higher end packaging and this one is a precision contour brush so i bought this specifically to use with this contour kit because i just want to do this and then see how it goes so i'm definitely gonna do a tutorial like comparison so yeah if you are interested don't forget to turn on my notification bell so that you will know when that video will be uploaded so once you open it up here is the brush it's kind of small i'm not gonna lie it's definitely not really like a long uh, you know brush but i like it i feel like you don't need that so long i really love this tapered like brush oh this is so soft this bristles like feels so soft like it feels really really soft on your hand so i really really love it and then i think it's a perfect size to do the contour so i'm really excited to test this one out and let me see in the back it says a taper brush ideal for applying contour and highlight products in various formula and this one is made in korea so i really love that i feel like the texture feels really good really soft so yeah i love it and the third item that i got from koki cosmetics is this lip Podour. So it's a liquid matte powder. I believe this is a new product because Koki Cosmetics have liquid lips, which I have it. Okay, so I got the one that I used to always go. So this one is called the liquid lips. So this is from Koki Cosmetics and this one is a new one. As you can see, they have a huge size difference. And let me see what this one is about because I'm just curious to try. And also I'm always like this kind of color. I just cannot resist so here is the inside looks like that's the tip looks pretty good and uh, ooh, I love it I feel like this is definitely more lightweight compared with the old formula I think the old formula is a bit like on the heavier side let's see so right here yeah this one is definitely more lightweight this one is definitely more like pigmented but also on the heavier heavier side so i really love this one i bet this one is new for the summer because you know in the summer you want that color but you also don't want like a very heavy feel on your lip so i think this is perfect and i love this shade so this one is called infamous so yeah this is a pretty cute shade i think i can get used to it yeah i will definitely use it and let me know if you want to see me do a tutorial i'll just do like full face but then i'll sh like compare the contour and uh, different different brands and then i can also use this one so yeah just comment down below if you want to see this one in action like do a tutorial using this one because i really love this shade i think it's such a beautiful shade all right so moving on next we have some face products so the first one is this mask bar it's the oxygen bubble so here is it looks like and i got this brand because i used one of their gold um, mask in the past it's pretty good it's i got that one from target so i think this one you can also buy from target i don't know if this specific one but this one is the oxygen bubble bamboo charcoal sheet mask so this one is just like the glam glow you know the bubble one like it turns into bubble so that kind of boils on your skin but also helps clean your pores and this one is an oxygen rich form revitalizing skin with oxygen as it deep cleanses exfoliates and moisturizes the skin the oxygen form deeply penetrates into the skin to eliminate poor clogging impurities to help prevent blackheads and dead skin cells and this will also help brighten an even skin tone so this has like a smoothing and a detoxifying effect which is so bomb and i love this brand i think this one is also from korea yes this made in south korea so it's really really good i just i love their gold mask so i cannot wait to try this one this could potentially be a dupe for the Glam Glow Bubble Mask, so we shall see. Alright, so the next item that I got is some lashes. You can never have too many fake lashes, that's how I feel. I used to do lash extensions for like maybe six months, but then I just felt like I think A is very pricey and B, the uptake is just too much. Like I have to come in every three weeks to fill it. And also during the very hot weather time, it's a turn to fall off really quickly. And also it's very restrictive when I'm doing my face routine because I have to always be super careful. So I got them all off, which I really like no regret. 
So that's why ever since that, I'm always relying on falsies, especially on special event. Today I'm wearing the CoverGirl mascara, which I really, really like. It's the pink tube. So let me see if I can find it. All right, so I found the mascara. So this is the CoverGirl Total Teeth Mascara. And mine is in the color Deep Blue. Let me see if you guys can see. I just really love how this makes my lashes feel. It really like separates my lashes and it lengthening them so it looks really good like i don't have like long lashes to begin with my lashes are naturally short so like for a mascara to really like lengthen into this level i think is really really good and let me open it for you guys so here is the inside looks like as you can see it's two-sided like on one side it's all like the smaller like teeth so that you can just lengthen it. On the other side, you can like really open your eyes using this mascara. So I just personally really love it. I think it's really, really good. And this is very affordable and you can get it everywhere. I believe I got mine from CVS. So yeah, I just really love it. And besides using like mascara, I also love to use fake lashes, which what I got today is one of my favorite pairs. I have um, a few of their pairs. So if you want me to do like a conclusion video, I can totally do one for you guys because I do have different like favorite styles, mostly from Adele, some of them from Eyelore. So yeah, just let me know if you want to see that video. And this one is a natural style. And this have five pairs because I usually don't reuse them because I just felt like if you wear it for a longer time, I always have the glue, it has like the how to say like the sweat and all the other bacteria in the skin like I just don't like to reuse them and then I feel like they're not as good as they're fresh and also I just don't think it's very hygienic and also on the other side I love always buying lashes so I might as well use them right so here is the lash looks like this is in the style 110 I really really love this style I feel like if you have similar eye shape as mine you're probably gonna love it because I just couldn't use like the super dramatic one because I don't have a deep eye pocket so I just the super dramatic one looks crazy on me so i just love these i feel like those are really really natural it will give you a really fluffy effect and it will have like an eye lifting effect even it says here so it's just really easy you just put it out and then you just feel like your eyes are open so yeah i really really love these ones all right so the last item i bought from right Aid is a hairband so this is the hairband i bought because i know that all the youtubers when they do get ready with me they just always have like a cute hairband i never had it so finally i bought it so that now i have it as well this one is from the brand sukuchi i think this is like a cvs brand as well obviously you can find it in um right Aid. And this one just really good and uh, yeah, it's just like a hairband. So I love this kind of catty ear. I just think it's so cute. So yeah, that's what I got. That's all the items I got from Rite Aid and Target. If you like this video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. I really appreciate your support. And also a little bit of a sneak peek for my next video. I also have an Ulta haul coming because I got a 20% coupon. So you know me, I order a bunch of stuff. So if you want to know what I got, just please turn on the notification and I will see you guys next time. Bye.